So I'll give you some of the highlights from the quarter. And she is leaving on a strong note as far as the business is going. More than 4% organic growth is a turning point and speaks to much better trends going on in the business. And it's not just snacks, which has been the case over the past few quarters. Remember, Pepsi owns Frito-Lay. But North American business, beverages, which has been weak, returned to growth 2.5% this quarter. Other highlights, international, very strong, especially in developing and emerging markets. As far as the weak spot, and this may be weighing on the stock this morning, the company did lower its earnings guidance on foreign exchange. Strong dollar starting to hurt That's places it like Latin, it is. Latin America, Russia, where they have a big business. The currencies have gone against right. them. And we saw that recently in Nike's quarter, where right. foreign exchange goes from being a helpful tailwind to an actual headwind. They raised actually their outlook for organic revenue growth, which was a sign that they are seeing better trends in beverages and in snacks. I mentioned this is Ingenuity's last quarter. Expect her to be on the call today, this morning. If you look back over her tenure, 12 years as CEO, stock is up a little more than 70%. It's actually underperformed rival Coca-Cola a little bit and pretty much on par with consumer staples. I picked out a few highlights of her tenure, uh, Andrew, including the good for you, fun for you right. strategy where she added healthier snacks like Quaker Oats to the portfolio, but also innovations that Joe likes around Fritos and Doritos and, and also diversification away from the cola, the brand Pepsi into bubbly, sparkling so that's water. that's I give her the credit. I give her, I give her, you were, you were saying, mm -hmm. why, why do I give her as much credit as I do? A, she staved off the Nelson Peltz move that was my to break up the point. company, yeah. which I think is an important piece. And she was able to do it and transform the, you know, and transform the company. And I would argue long term has now set itself up in terms of the trends that are taking place in food these days in a better way at the same time. That, and, she, and she didn't kill the company in the meantime, meaning it's very hard to transition from the, the kind of company they were a decade ago to where they are today. It's a hard thing to do. Absolutely. And it's a big deal that she saw some of these trends with healthier eating and snacking. Right. Because largely the food industry completely missed it. And it's why you're seeing so much pain at companies like Campbell's Soup, right. for instance, and some of the other food companies. Frito and their snacks business have continued to outperform. Biggest question, though, for the next CEO, he's been at Pepsi 22 years. Does he think the power of one, snacks and beverages right. together, is the right way? And will he look at refranchising and spinning off the bottlers like Coke is doing and is getting a lot more credit from the market right now?